In this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to set up Google Ads for your contractor or construction company. This is the exact strategy that I'm using in 2025 when I run ads. So make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss out on anything important. But there's one thing I don't wanna do and it's waste any more of your time. So let's just jump straight in and teach you exactly how to set up Google Ads for your business. So the very first thing we're gonna do is head over to Google Ads. Now, if you're completely brand new, there's a bunch of different offers you can get when you first sign up. So as you can see, I'm in Australia, so the ad credit's a little bit different to your offers if you're in the UK or United States, but just grab one of these when you're first gonna sign up. It's literally free money. You'd be stupid not to take this if you're starting out a new account. Now for me, since it's not a new account, I'm just gonna tap on start now. All right, now that we're in Google Ads, I'm gonna show you something a little bit different to what most tutorials will do. Now this is value that you're not gonna get anywhere else, so please just like the video. But what we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna head over to tools and then go to keyword planner. The reason why we wanna do this is because we're actually gonna find the keywords to bid on for our business before we actually create the ad out. And we're also gonna find out exactly how much other advertisers are paying to appear at the top of the page for the exact keywords that we're gonna bid on. So just tap on discover new keywords. And for this example, I'm just gonna do bathroom remodeling. It doesn't matter if you're not a bathroom remodeling business and you're watching this video. This is just an example for this video. The strategy that I'm gonna teach you in this video is the exact same for your business. So don't worry if you're not a bathroom remodeling business. So what we're gonna do is just type in the most common search term people are gonna be looking up when they're trying to find a bathroom remodeling business. So I'm just gonna type up bathroom remodeling, right? Because that's usually in one of the search terms that people are looking for when they're looking for one of these companies. Now I'm just gonna change the location to get the most accurate data. So just say I was building out an ad campaign for a bathroom remodeler that lived in Austin, Texas. So right here, I'm just gonna tap on Austin, Texas and then tap on save. This way, we're just gonna get the most relevant data points so we know exactly what other bathroom remodeling companies are bidding for and exactly how much they're paying. So tap on get results. The very first thing you wanna do is scroll down and tap on the average monthly searches which this is just gonna show you the highest searched keywords. So as you can see down here, these are all the highest search keywords for bathroom remodeling in Austin, Texas. And you can see the actual average monthly searches. And you can also see the top of page bid low range and the top of page bid high range. So this is how much people are paying to appear at the top of the page. Google Ads works by cost by click. So they only pay when somebody clicks on their ad. So people who are appearing at the top of the page, let me just show you really quickly. People who are appearing at the top of the page, like this person here, is paying the highest amount. And then the other ads like this one here and this one down here, they're paying a lot less. So if you wanna appear directly at the top like these guys, you're gonna set in a maximum cost per click at $59.59. So this is why you're gonna need this information because I'm gonna teach you when you set it up, how much to actually cap your bidding at so you don't overspend with Google Ads. And you also don't underspend and never get your ads shown to people. So what we wanna do now is just grab all of the different keywords that are relevant to our business. And just really keep in mind the top of page bid high range and low range, just so you can get an average of where everybody's kind of bidding. So I go through here and just tap on all of these. So now that I've grabbed everything that I want, I'm just gonna tap on copy. I'm just gonna paste all of these in my notes so I can use them later when I'm building out the campaign, which is what we're gonna do right now. So once you've copied all them and you've written down how much the low range is and the high range is, we can just go to actually setting up our campaigns. So tap on campaigns here, tap on new campaign, tap on it again. Now the type of objective that we're picking is leads. So we want leads for our business. We want people to fill out our form on our website so they can get a quote from us. So the type of different conversions you wanna have is right here I have one set up that's page view, which is just viewing a thank you page. But if you wanna learn all the conversion tracking and everything like that, I have a separate video. I'm not gonna go over it in this one because it will take too long. I'm just gonna teach you how to set up the campaign. But yeah, I do have a separate video that goes through this whole thing. So just watch the conversion tracking video after this one. It's just linked in the description. But to dumb it down, you wanna track when people fill out your form or call your business from your website. Tap on continue. Now we're just gonna select our actual campaign type and it's gonna be a search campaign because we wanna appear at the top of the page when people are searching for our business, like bathroom remodeling near me. We want our business to pop up when people search that. Now the way that we'd like to reach our goal is website visits. We don't wanna waste time with phone calls or lead submissions or store visits or anything like that. These are just different goals that are slightly more annoying and they change how the actual campaign's set up. The best way to do it is website visits. We don't want phone calls because phone call ads don't really work very well. And we also don't want lead form submissions because it's Google's lead forms. It's not our one on our website. It's a really 
ugly, disgusting one that just doesn't really work. And we're gonna put in the phone number and everything into our campaign anyway. So I recommend just going with the website visit ones because we want people to come to our site. So I'm just gonna paste in this website here, which is mybath.com. This isn't my business. This is just a random one I've grabbed off the internet just to use for this example. Now we can just label the campaign name, whatever we wanna label it. So if you have multiple different campaigns for different services, you should definitely be labeling your campaigns. So for this one, it would just be bathroom remodeling. Now the bidding strategy, what do you wanna focus on? It starts us off on conversions. We don't want to bid on conversions from the very start because we don't have any data in our account to train Google Ads to go for those conversions, right? It'll use just general data on the internet from other businesses, not your one, which just means you're gonna be spending an arm and a leg to get a conversion because Google doesn't know how many people actually convert on your website and how much they should be paying for a conversion. So you wanna make sure not to be doing this strategy off the start. Do it after you've gotten about 30 plus conversions. But right now, since we have no data at all, we don't wanna do this. So we're gonna go down to clicks and we're gonna set in a maximum cost per click. This is what I was telling you earlier about how much people were bidding in between the low bid range and the high bid range. So we wanted to remember that number. It was as high as $88 for the highest range and it was as low as $18. What I like to do personally is go to about 75% of whatever it is. So if it was $88, maybe we'll set this around $60. This way, you're not appearing directly at the very top of the page every time, but you're still appearing at that front page. And sometimes you will appear at the very top depending on who you're bidding against. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna go down to next. And for the campaign settings, we wanna get rid of Google search partners. And we also wanna get rid of Google display. They're really hard to track. So you don't wanna waste any time using these because if you can't track it, then you probably shouldn't be spending money on it. Now you just need to go down to your location area, tap on enter another location and tap on advanced search. So we're gonna bring this straight into Austin, Texas because we want to actually target that area. So bang, now it's taken us here. Now just say we don't target all of Austin, Texas. So we can actually get rid of this, go down and tap on show all areas and target people like this, just including different areas. Now there's another way to do targeting as well, which is by doing it by radius. So you can go in here, tap on radius, and you can just drop a big old pin. So tap on the pin mode and drop the pin. Now, I don't suggest doing it this way just because you can't increase or decrease bids based on certain areas. So what I'm saying is if you have this area here, uh, Hutto, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but if Hutto gets a lot more clients than what Taylor does, then you wanna decrease bids on this area and increase bids over here on Hutto because this way you're going to get more results for your business with spending less because you're spending more money on areas that actually want your service and less money on areas that don't want your service. Now, obviously I'm not from Austin, Texas or the States in general. I'm from Australia, so I don't really know that area particularly well if it is super high converting for <laughs> those people. I don't know if this is a wealthy area or not, but this is just my advice on how I do my targeting so I can increase bids and decrease bids based on areas that are converting more than other areas. So yeah, just go back to locations, show all areas and just target all your areas individually. It's a hassle at the start, but it'll save you thousands of dollars later on in the future. Now I'm not gonna do all this targeting right here because obviously it's a demonstration, but once you've done it for your account, just tap on save. We need to make sure, I mean, seriously, make sure Please, please remember this. Go down to locations and click on presence people in or regularly in your area. It's auto selected on the top one, which is presence and interest. We do not want that because people that don't live in our area will see our ads, which is not what we want. We really do not want this to happen because we're gonna waste clicks and ad spend on people who don't live in our area or aren't regularly in our area. Just remember to flick that over if you want to save yourself thousands of dollars. Just real quick, I hope you're enjoying the value that I'm giving you in this video. If you did want an unfair advantage in your business, there's a link in the description to my home service marketing course. I teach you everything from Facebook ads, Google ads, and automating your business. So if you do want to check it out and know the advanced strategies that I can't share for free on YouTube, go to the description and check it out. But let's jump right back into the video. Now after we're here, we just wanna scroll past. This isn't an EU political ad, so we just select no. Audience segments, you don't need to bother about this. Like seriously, don't bother about this. It'll kill your campaign if you're doing anything related to targeting on this. You can observe some of them, like tap on observation and just go through all these because you can increase bids on these things as well. But personally, it takes like six months worth of data before you can even think about doing that. So it's completely up to you and your actual budget. But yeah, just make sure it's on observation, not targeting. 
tap on next. Now with AI, I love AI, but it's just not that good for Google Ads at the moment. So we're gonna go past this and actually do this manually. Now for keyword and asset generation, I don't usually do this this much, but for this one, we're just gonna generate using this and we're just gonna change it around to our stuff. So just go down, tap on generate. Now, as you can see, it's made our ad groups and everything like that. So what we wanna do is tap on edit. And these are all the keywords that it's given us, which are really decent keywords. But we wanna actually change these over to the ones we've actually researched. So let's just paste in these ones here because we actually know how much people are bidding for these ones. And we know that these are the highest search terms for this business in Austin, Texas as well. So it's super relevant keywords. So we're gonna scroll down here and let's actually just change the ad around. So the main core pillars in an ad that sells people on your service are usually call to actions, so telling them what you want them to do, being hyper keyword relevant, so just relevant to what they search to find your business. Social proof as well, so people know that you're a trusted business. And then offers, so if you have any different offers like discounts, you put them in here. They're usually the four core pillars that sell people on your service. You can also add in things like fear of missing out as well, but right now that's a little bit hard with a bathroom renovation business. So what we wanna do is we wanna change these keywords to be as relevant to what people search. So I'm gonna show you a sneaky little trick here. So if we actually go into this headline here and we remove it and then tap on the little squiggly bracket, we can get a keyword insertion. Now these are absolutely killer for being relevant to what they search. So once you do that, you tap on it, tap on title case, and just put in any sort of default thing in here, like bathroom remodeling, and then tap on apply. So what this does is it actually grabs the keywords up here. So whichever one they searched up to find your ad, it grabs any of these and uses it as a headline. So if we pin this headline to be the first position, you can see it instantly brought our ad strength down to poor, but please don't worry about this. As you can see here, it's used their keyword from the very start, what they searched, in the headline, the very first thing. So somebody just typed up bathroom remodel near me and the first ad literally says exactly what they searched. You could not be any more relevant than that. Like I said before, please ignore the ad strength. Google just wants you to jam as many things in here as possible and for it to have as much control as possible when it comes to running ads. Now, I personally run a lot of Google ads and I don't like having Google pick and choose what headlines I like to show because then I never know what's working better and other things where if you want to split test ads all you have to do is actually just pin different headlines so you know which one's working better and which one's working worse because you can have two different ads going one has a pinned headline of bathroom remodeling near me with just a random second headline and then the other ad can have the pinned headline of bathroom remodeling near me and then another pinned headline pinned in position number two a call to action like get your free quote so now when anyone searches up any of these keywords here they'll see this exact ad, bathroom remodeling companies near me, with the keyword that they wrote into the search bar to find the business, as well as a call to action right at the end, telling them to get a quote. You could not be more relevant than that. So yeah, when it comes to filling out your headlines, use those four core pillars, add in a discount if you want, add in social proof, everything like that. But you also wanna reiterate all of it down here in the actual descriptions. So for the descriptions, I really like to just describe what our business does as well as having a call to action, some social proof, and just adding relevance to their location. So trying to be as local as possible to their area. So once you put in your own descriptions, just scroll down and you wanna add in a bunch of different images. So usually photos of finished work, or my personal favorite is actually photos of you and your work crew together. So they actually know the people that they're gonna hire to come to their house and remodel their bathroom or do any of the other services that one of you guys might sell. It's an instant trust builder when you use images like that. But once you put in your images, you have site links as well. So this is just links to different areas of your site. So if you sell multiple different services, you can have links to different services, or if you wanna have a link to a page specifically about getting a quote, or you can have a page that has all of your reviews or your past projects, just anything like that to sell them on your service. Once you put in all those, just scroll down and go to more assets. If you've got any promotions running, you can put them in here. But the main thing that I worry about is just the phone calls. So you just wanna tap on calls and just add in your phone number. So it appears right below the actual ad. So as you can see, my number has appeared right here. So people can actually call me directly from the ad. This is super helpful if you want those phone call leads as well. And it also just gives another call to action because some people prefer to talk on the phone rather than go onto a website and fill out a form. 
So once you've done that and you've written in your number here, just tap on apply. Don't bother about messages, structured snippets, or the lead forms. These are all just a waste of time. Call outs, you can add these in. They're just little extra snippets at the bottom of your description. So if you wanna add in just social proof or anything like that, you can add that in here. So as you can see here, I'll do highly recommended and it just appeared right at the back here. You can add about four of these, but I don't think they really do that much besides, you know, own a little bit more of that screen real estate because it makes your ad look a little bit bigger. Now you're done with that, all you need to do is just tap on save, tap on next. Now you're onto the budget area, you can just set in whatever daily budget you want for your business. So you just go down here to set custom budget and then just put in what you can do per day for your business. Now, once you've done that, just tap on next. All right, now that we've done that, all we need to do is tap on publish. Now you're gonna get this warning at bidding and it's because we're on clicks, not conversions for the bidding strategy. Do not stress about this. Remember what I said earlier, this is how we wanna start if we have no conversion data in our Google Ads account. So ignore that for now, switch it over in about a month's time after you've got enough conversion. So what you wanna do now is just tap on publish campaign. All right, we're not done just yet. What we need to do now is actually change our keywords from broad match to exact match. This way we don't waste any ad spend on people who are looking for things that are just slightly related to bathroom remodeling because we wanna be very specific with the people that actually click on our ad because we're spending anywhere from 20 to $80 per click. So we wanna make sure the people clicking on our ad are high intent. So how you do that is you go over to campaigns, you wanna to go to audience keywords and, and content, and then go down to keywords. And here we have all of our keywords. Now, as you can see, they're all broad match. Your wallet will thank you for changing all of these. So what you wanna do is tap this square here and then go down to change all match types and then tap change all match types. What we're gonna do is tap on broad match and change this to exact match or phrase match, but I personally recommend exact match. Now we're gonna go and tap on apply, and now it's changing all of our keywords to exact match. This way, people only will see our ad if they type in those exact keywords, which is what we want to happen. We don't want people looking up something slightly related to bathroom remodeling and then them seeing our ad. We want people that are literally looking for our service that need us today. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's exactly how to set up Google Ads for your contractor or construction company. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Look, if you did want that unfair advantage over your competitors in your industry, and you want to really know how to optimize your Google Ads account to get the best results possible, as well as learn Facebook ads and automate 90% of your business, there's a home service marketing course linked in the description. It is literally my whole blueprint that I follow, that I use when I run ads, for not only in my own business, but multiple other businesses that work with me. It is crafted and created for purely service-based businesses, mainly in the home service marketing niche, like window cleaners, plumbers, bathroom remodeling, just anything like that where you go to somebody's house and you service them. So if you own one of those businesses and you wanna fast track your results and learn everything that I know, go into the link, check it out.